She made history as the first black female pro on Dancing with the Stars, and now she's making waves on the stage and beyond. Britt Stewart, welcome to DBL. Yes. Oh, we're so excited to have you, Britt. Now, we want to start by saying we were so sad to see you go. Were you surprised to be sent home? Oh, you know, Dancing with the Stars is always unpredictable. It's a reality show. You never really know what to expect and who will get eliminated. I will say that I am sad. It seems like Adrian was really growing in his dance journey. And right when everything started to click, we got eliminated. So yes, sad, but it's always unpredictable. Well, speaking of Adrian, we all know him as a football star, right? But how did you use his experience as an athlete to finally teach him to dance? This was my first experience with a pro football player as a partner on DWTS. And really, I used his work ethic. From his years of NFL training and experience, I could really use that hard work and being able to be, you know, really have repetition. And now you're seeing here, I got to do some football drills with him that really helped with his Ooh. quick feet during our quick step. And I got to do some football drills with the greatest running back of all time. So I can say that I've done that now. And that was great technique. I, have I was to add. just about yeah, to that say was great that technique. was like unbelievable. Yeah, it was really good. Britt, you and your boyfriend, actor Daniel Duran are so adorable and we have to know how did your connection on stage turn into a relationship? First of all, thank you. Um, really, my partnership with Daniel last season was something really special. We both knew that we had chemistry, but it started as teammates that turned into best friends. And at the end of the season, I think we both just looked at each other, realized that we weren't going to spend every day with, with one another. And then we told each other that we liked each other and started dating after the show. So it was a very organic um, way of transitioning into a relationship. Ah, I love your love. Now, this is the sweetest <laughs> story. You actually learned sign language to communicate with Daniel. So were there any unique challenges to teaching him to dance um, due to him being deaf? You're right. I learned ASL. I remember first meeting Daniel on our first meet on Dancing with the Stars, and I barely knew the alphabet. Everything that I've learned is from Daniel and being completely submersed into the deaf community and deaf culture. And for him, Daniel has this extreme ability to feel rhythm and to feel music without having any concept of sound. So I will say that I got really lucky to have Daniel as my partner. And then it was really a unique experience for me to switch up my teaching method and just open my heart and my eyes and my dance experience to a whole new world and culture. What a beautiful story. Oh yeah. my God, that's amazing. Congratulations for both of you guys. Now, I got to say this, you're the president of the Share the Movement. Uh, it's an organization aimed at diversifying professional dance. So how are you hoping to change the dance world? Thank you for mentioning Share the Movement because I am so passionate about diversity, equity, and representation. And, you know, I take my role as being the first and only black female pro on Dancing with the Stars very seriously. And I want to take my opportunity and give it back to younger generations. And so we really start with the root, the foundation of young BIPOC kids that aspire to be dancers, that there will be no li limitations, that we can continue to break barriers. And my hope for dance as a whole, that it will become more colorful and that more people will have access to go beyond dance, to become directors and choreographers and producers and really lead dance and arts. Wow. Britt, thank you so much for lighting up our screen. Her smile's contagious, right? Yeah. And then she comes in with that love story. I know. Oh, know. Trying to make somebody cry on a Friday? Come on now. I wish we had more time. Thank you so much, Britt, for joining us on DBL. To get more information on Share the Movement, visit sharethemovementnow.org.